Hello friends, uh, today we are going to solve interesting interview problem that is uh, um, right in a maze. Okay, so let's read out the problem. So given a maze which is n into n matrix, so rat has to find a path from the source to destination from uh, top left corner is the source and the bottom right corner is the destination. There are a few cells that are blocked. That means rat cannot enter those cells. So rat can move only in and rat can move in any direction that is up, right, left, right, up and down. And uh, yeah, so <coughs> for example, this is this is a maze and rat is rat is here and it, it has to find a path to go to here so this is the path okay so yeah so this is an interesting problem um, this problem can also be seen as a um, robot finding a prop robot finding a path in a maze uh, this problem has many many variations and few of them we'll discuss uh, uh, in another videos uh, that has some complications but today we are going to keep it simple uh, we have a matrix we have a rat we have a um, source and destination cell and rat has to find a path there are few cells which are blocked that means rat cannot go through okay so we are going to solve this problem using backtracking so if you don't know what backtracking is we have another video where we have discussed in detail what the backtracking is and i leave the uh, link of that video in the description yeah. so let's go to our uh, blackboard and see how we can uh, solve it so right in a maze and uh, this is our maze okay and uh, solution matrix okay so this is a source this is a destination so if you see the path would be from here to here okay from go to right right down down and left okay so <coughs> um, so we'll start um, um, in our sequence so, so each time rat will take the first downward direction and if that doesn't work go to the right that doesn't work go up that doesn't work go left okay so uh, pick a sequence and make sure uh, in each move you follow that so we are following we are going to follow this uh, in our uh, uh, in our uh, problem today so we'll start the rat will start from the source okay so first it will go down and each time rat will go to a, <coughs> a move to a cell so that will start from here so every time rat moves to the cell we will mark that cell as one so this is blocked and this is blocked okay so now the rat is here it moved downwards and we mark this cell as one now from here rat will try to go down but that cell is blocked so this is not possible try to go right this is also blocked so not possible try to go up so but that cell is already visited because we have marked as one so we cannot go there uh, and go left so it cannot go left because it will be breaking the boundary of this of the maze so all four moves are not possible at this point so what rat will do rat will backtrack to its previous cell so which is rat will backtrack here and we'll mark this cell as zero we'll backtrack okay so when all the four moves uh, are not possible for the rat it the rat will backtrack 
okay now from this cell it has rat has already taken this move and it did not work so the next move is this going right so now the rat will go right mark this cell as one and from this cell try to go down that's our first move but that cell is blocked so again go right that's the second move so go here mark this as one and then <coughs> uh, from this cell we'll start with going in the down direction so go down that will go down here mark this cell as one again go down mark this cell as one so once rat is here it will try to go down try to go down that is blocked okay it cannot go down uh, that's breaking the boundary it cannot go right okay because that is also breaking the boundary going upwards that's where the right is coming from so here for these conditions we'll uh, we'll uh, make use of the uh, solution matrix and if uh, that cell is marked one that means rat is coming from that path so it cannot go there so that is also blocked so the only remaining move is left so rat will move from the uh, <coughs> from here the rat will move left and it will reach the destination so this is the path one 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 uh, for the rat to take to reach from source to the destination okay mark this as one so let's let's go back uh, to our our problem so <coughs> so in this <coughs> let's take example of this matrix so rat will start from here it will try to go down uh, then down 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 and and it cannot move go anywhere uh, from here cannot go down cannot go left cannot go right so it will start backtracking from here right and then it will go to the right direction once here it cannot go anywhere else so it will go to the right and then here it cannot go here cannot go here so it will go up and then go to right okay and find the destination so <clears throat> yeah now let's read the approach so create a solution matrix of the same structure as the maze Whenever a rat moves to the cell in a maze, mark that particular cell in the solution matrix as 1. In the end, print the solution matrix, follow the ones from top left corner, it will be the path for the rat. Okay. So, uh, the algorithm is pretty much same. The rat, if rat reaches the destination, print the solution matrix. Else, mark the current cell in the solution matrix as one and then try going downwards if that doesn't work if movement in the above step doesn't lead to solution go right and then go upwards and then go downwards oh sorry go in the left direction uh, this is this crossing this ui is broken i'll fix it later so uh, if none of the above solution works backtrack and mark the current cell as zero in the solution matrix if ran run, run out of options and return false because it's not possible to reach the destination right so let's say for example in this case let's say this cell is also blocked right so once rat will come here it will not find any path it cannot go here left anywhere so that means the uh, uh, rat cannot reach to the destination and we'll our recursive function will ret will return true only when it the rat reaches the destination let's look at the code for better understanding so 
yeah this is our maze um, that's the same maze which uh, which we are uh, in our example and yeah so <laughs> right in a maze uh, we are creating a solution matrix okay and yeah this is initially the all the cells in the solution matrix uh, would be zero okay now solve the maze so find path this is our recursive function and we'll start from zero zero and n is the <coughs> number of cells and maze is the matrix so yeah this is our recursive function so once that so in this case the destination is uh, the uh, right bottom corner so that is n minus 1 and minus 1 so when x and y uh, becomes uh, n minus 1 mark the solution matrix x y as 1 and return true okay so this is our base case and and it will return true if rat reaches to the destination no <coughs> else um, so from the current cell so current cell is x and y initially it would be uh, 0 0 so yeah from the current cell this is what this is what we are trying so sorry yeah from the current cell uh, first we are marking the current cell in the cell uh, solution matrix as one now rat has four options right down left and up so here first we are going down so uh, x plus one and y make a recursive call and uh, if that returns true return true okay then go right so uh, y is equal to y plus 1 and x and yeah make a recursive call and try solving it and then go up similarly go left so any of this movement so going down right up left returns true that means uh, the path has lead to our destination cell and this two is coming from here right so if any of these are true return true if none of this move worked that means uh, we cannot find path from the current cell so x uh, solution x y uh, from this cell uh, mark at zero and return false so this scenario so to understand it better so once once that starts from here 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 and here once it reaches here and it cannot go anywhere right so we'll mark this cell as zero in our solution matrix and we will backtrack so this is what it is none of the option worked out work out so backtrack undo the move okay now this is this is important part safe check so once every time <coughs> uh, red moves to a cell first thing um, i mean first we check if it is a destination cell if not then first thing check if rat can move to this current cell right so uh, in this function first we are checking if rat is not crossing the boundary that means x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0 x is less than n and y is less than n so these are the boundaries okay so rat has to be within the boundary maze x y is not 0 that means that cell is not blocked uh, for the rat, uh, rat like this one like this one okay and solution x y is not one that means uh, uh, 
rat is not coming from that cell okay so for example once rat is coming here this cell is marked 1 so rat cannot go up because this cell is marked 1 that means rat is coming from there that cell is already visited okay this will this check will avoid the rat going in the loops else imagine rat can come uh, from this cell it can come here and then from here it can go here and then can come down and then can go up so this is infinite loop right to avoid that loop this is the condition so this will make sure rat is not moving to the cell which is already visited <coughs> okay so if all the conditions are met then return true that means rat can move to this particular cell else return false okay so every time um, rat decides to go in any direction let's say it's going down and making a recursive call x plus 1 and y so it will come here and check is safe to go so in this function this function decides whether rat can move to this particular cell and if not return false don't go inside and try uh, these options okay and at the end um, print the solution uh, matrix so let's let's run this code uh, okay so that's the yeah <coughs> that's the same example so let me let me run this code yeah this is the solution so coming down going round right and then up right down and then this path this path okay so let's uh, let's try uh, some other example so uh, let's mark this cell as zero so this the one two three four the fourth row all these cells are blocked okay so here all the cells are blocked that means rat cannot pass through so in this case there will be no path okay uh, so here uh, if this function return false um, we'll say no path found so we have blocked the entire uh, row the fourth row so no matter from which direction the rat is coming it cannot pass through uh, the fourth row so let's let's run this and see um, yeah no path found yeah so yeah let's let's mark this problem as completed yeah uh, this is a famous problem asked in many interviews uh, this problem can be asked as uh, given a robot or uh, find a path um, this problem has uh, many variations as i said earlier and in our upcoming videos uh, we'll solve those variations as well so yeah um, thanks guys uh, see you guys uh, in the next video bye bye